a K-pop star's ill-advised April Fool's joke, and Visa gets creative with Olympians. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand hit and miss of the week. Okay, first up, the miss. We all brace for it. April Fool's is notorious for brand marketing jokes that make it the cringiest of cringe fests. Thankfully this year, most held off for obvious global pandemic reasons. But one joke did stand out. While not a corporation or company per se, K-pop bands can certainly be considered brand. Jay Jong of the group JYJ thought it'd be a good idea to tell his 2 million Instagram followers that he had tested positive for COVID-19. You know, as a joke. Yeah, no one else got it either. The negative response was strong enough that it only took him an hour to apologize. This prank was too much to be considered a simple April Fool's Day joke, but many people expressed their worry for me during that short period of time. However, that wasn't quite enough to dampen his fans' disappointment, and he ended up having to deactivate his entire account. Now, once again, I just want to say thank you to all the brands who held off. Thank you for no Google Tulip. Thank you for no McDonald's shake-flavored dipping sauce. Thank you for no Spotify disco cover weekly playlist. Maybe we should make this brandless April Fool's Day an annual tradition. This week's hit goes to Visa. The brand showed some gold medal agility in altering its Olympic ad plan to roll out some virus-related PSAs. Before the International Olympic Committee officially postponed the 2020 Tokyo Games, Visa had already had its Olympic ad plan all ready to go. Together with its agency BBD New York, Visa enlisted young Olympians to make some homemade PSAs around hand washing and social distancing. The ads featured British skateboarder Sky Brown, Greek pole vaulter Katerina Stefanidi, and Costa Rican BMXer Kenneth Tencio. The spots featured the athletes washing their hands with the tagline, wash your hands like an Olympian. Face it, hand wash training is the closest most of us are going to come to elite athletic performance for a while. It's a nice advertising pivot for a major brand that already had its Olympic ad plan set in stone months before the game started. And with more than 90 sponsored athletes, here's hoping Visa keeps it up. Binge Netflix like an Olympian? Bake sour bread like an Olympian? In the midst of this pandemic, we are not in a place of advertising as usual. These last couple of weeks have seen the first wave of crisis-related advertising from brands like Hanes, Ford, Budweiser, Nike, and many others. The longer this crisis goes on, of course, the more creative brands are gonna have to be dealing with it. Let us know who you thought made great work this week. Until then, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.